Welcome back to the Barley Lads. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Leave us a comment to let us know how we're doing. Today, we're drinking Dickel Bottled and Bond. This is Dickel Bottled and Bond. It's a Tennessee whiskey from the Cascade Hollow Distilling Company, Tullahoma, Tennessee. ABV of 50% or 100 proof with a 13-year age statement. Price-wise, you should be able to get this around $45. Mashville, 84% corn, 8% rye, 8% malted barley. So Dickel Bottled and Bond, this is the third release in the series that uh, dis head distiller Nicole Austin has been putting together. This, not this specific bottling, but the original bottling in 2019 uh, earned Whiskey Advocates uh, number one spot for top 20 new whiskeys in 2019. Um, the 2000, uh, or sorry, the 2020 bottling was an 11 year. So uh, the first one was 13, uh, last year's was 11, and then this one is back up to 13. So she doesn't have any set age that she wants to put out. Uh, basically, they're just trying different barrels, uh, she says from ages 10 to 14 for each release to figure out kind of what notes that they want for that particular release. And they are trying to get what she's calling a house style. So each year when they put out the Bottled and Bond, hopefully they will have some similarities, but maybe subtle differences uh, in each year, yearly release. But there is no set age statement, for, so there's no uh, there's no guarantee that next year's uh, or whenever they release the, this year's, I should say, 2022's, uh, that it could be a 10 year, it could be a 14 year, it could be a 12 year. Um, either way, though, all these whiskeys that they're putting out have been phenomenal, um, highly rated, rated across the board by pretty much everybody that's tried them. Uh, the the Circling back a little bit to what Bottled and Bond is, so uh, 1897, uh, the Bottled and Bond Act was uh, written by Congress, and basically what it means is at the time, uh, they had a lot of people that were buying up barrels of whiskey, uh, calling themselves bonders, and they would bottle it themselves. Well, a lot of people were trying to make a quick buck, and so they would put all sorts of horrible things to uh, make the whiskey go farther so they could create more bottles. How they would do that, sometimes they would just water them down by a lot. Other times they would add all sorts of chemicals, all things that would, you know, when they say that you could go blind from, from drinking whiskey, it wasn't from the whiskey, it was from all the additives that these um, terrible people were putting into what should have been really good whiskey. So when the Bottle and Bond Act came out, it was actually one of the first consumer regulations that was ever put in place. And it wasn't for food, it wasn't the FDA, it was about whiskey uh, because people care about what they're drinking. So uh, we have kind of gotten away from Bottle and Bond. You don't have to do that anymore. Sourcing is perfectly uh, legal. Um, we certainly prefer here uh, when it is sourced that you're telling us where it's sourced from, uh, what you're particularly doing with it. Uh, we, we like as much clarity in that regard. Um, but the great thing about this is we know because it's bottled and bond, it's made by Cascade Hollow. It's, it's aged by Cascade Hollow. It's bottled by Cascade Hollow. And we know everything about it. In fact, we even know when it was distilled, uh, spring 2007. So that's another thing about um, the, the Bottled and Bond Act is that it has to be all from one season. So either spring or fall of each year was typically the distillation seasons uh, because that's when farmers weren't farming as much. And so they could come in and work in the distilleries. And that's kind of where that designation kind of came from. So let's dive into the whiskey. Immediately for me, I get a lot of cherry, but less medicinal, actually uh, like a sweet cherry pie. Oak. Strong maple. Uh, I don't know if that's coming from the barrels, uh, the age, or 
more so from the maple charcoal filtering. But for me, it, that usually comes off as like a banana flavor, like what you get with Jack Daniels. A hint of chocolate, but like a milk, like a sweeter milk chocolate, not, not dark chocolate. The only way that I know that this is 100 proof is because it says it on the bottle and I'm, I'm trusting it because it's bottled in bond. But this is one of the smoother whiskeys at this proof that I've probably ever had. I don't like using smooth very often. I'd say mellow. Not a lot of burn though. Very sweet, but not artificially sweet. Um, almond, a lot of almond for me on the, on the taste. Still get the cherry. Maybe butterscotch. Um, yeah, it's just, it's so good. <laughs> uh, this is probably one of the best value whiskeys that you can buy. I, I talk about that in the eight year bourbon review as well. Uh, this is a 13 year age statement. You, if, you, if you're looking at any other 13 year age statement, 12 year, even a 10 year, most of the time you're looking at 50 plus dollars. 70, 80, 100 plus, especially if you're talking some scotches or Irish whiskeys. For a 13 year age statement to be under $50 uh, and still be incredible, these should be flying off shelves faster than they are. These are a little hard to come by, uh, certainly here in Ohio. I got this bottle from my brother out in Washington. Uh, don't worry, I flew it back completely legally. But um, it's just, it's a, it's a phenomenal whiskey and if you, if you like good whiskey, if you like a good bottle and bond, you can't go wrong with this. So thanks again for watching another episode of the Barley Lads. We've been drinking Dickel Bottle and Bond, their 2021 release. Cheers.